Hi, my name is Tony, and I, well, I have a problem. I've been trying to figure this out for a while now, well, since I got the new welder, and haven't been having much luck. Before I break my scope here, I thought I'd reach out for some help, should you kind souls out there be so inclined. It's an electrical question. Electronics, maybe? Or, as it's known in the wild, wild west, pixie wrangling? I'm dealing with a few that, evidently, just don't want to be wrangled. First, let's go back in time to when I put this scope on the old welder. Well, now ain't that something. This thing looks like it's getting worse every time I look at it. What you're looking at now on the scope is more than I expected to be talking about. I had found a balance issue, but if you look at it now, you can see we're not even getting full current on the electrode positive side. It's struggling to maintain the square wave on the negative side, but it's still almost getting to 40 amps. If you look at the top side, it's stopping at 20. So an electrode negative, I'm getting the full amperage setting of the machine, and an electrode positive, I'm getting half of what I expect. So I had never scoped a welder before, and as you heard, when I saw the asymmetric waveform, naturally, I figured it was another problem with the machine I hadn't noticed. The asymmetric waveform wasn't the problem that led me to replace that welder, but was something I discovered along the way. For those of you who haven't seen that video, or haven't seen it in the last 10 minutes, and without going into excruciating details, modern TIG welders like this one give you a lot of control over the output waveform, give you a lot of control over what the arc is doing at the end of the torch. Why they do that is another can of worms, but for now, allow me to give you the executive summary. My welder, as with most modern inverters, outputs a square wave, and principally you can control the amperage, of course. That's the whole point and in AC welding mode, the frequency. In addition, you can usually change what's called the AC balance, or the amount of time the waveform spends in its positive half versus its negative half. Sometimes you want more positive, sometimes you want more negative. Now, based on everything I know, which might not be much, all of those adjustments happen with a symmetric waveform, meaning the amplitude of the positive half is always the same as the negative half. The top part is just as tall as the bottom part. Again, symmetric. So when I saw the asymmetric waveform on the scope from the old welder, I assumed there was something wrong with that machine. It looked to me like it wasn't reaching full amperage on its positive side. Now to further complicate things, and I'm getting to the problem here. Some more advanced welders, like the HTP in this case, allow you to change the waveform symmetry. You can dial in more positive than negative or more negative than positive. The first problem I ran into trying to get a read on the HTP is its apparent anti-espionage features, specifically the high frequency start. Now, although that kind of power is spectacular for initiating an arc, it nearly fried my scope. Rounded tungsten tip, dirty base metal, no problem at all with this welder. Oscilloscope, not so much. The high frequency start was just driving the scope nuts. And of course, I kept at it, kept poking the bear with my stick. Every time I'd try to take a measurement, when that high frequency kicked in, random menus would flash on the screen and go away, settings would change, colors would invert. Once or twice it even unmounted my U-disc. I didn't even know I had a U-disc. Long story short, with this welder, I'm hooking up the current clamp after initiating the arc, after the high frequency finishes doing its thing. Of course, I'm not able to catch the arc strikes, like I did with the old welder, but one step at a time here. Not really what I'm worried about. The welder is currently set up to put out a symmetric waveform. The machine is set to 40 amps and 60 hertz, I think, with AC balance set to zero. That's basically the same waveform I was seeing on my old welder. Again, my old welder was bad for completely different reasons, but this same waveform now has me scratching my head. Why isn't that a 50-50 split, positive and negative? I have two theories, and I'm not sure which one of the two I know less about. First, I'm getting the feeling that there's something wrong with my setup. Something here is clipping the top off of the AC waveforms. That is, the welder is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, and my measurement setup is lying to me. There's something I'm not considering. I'll show you the setup in just a second, but it's 
pretty much what you'd expect. It's pretty basic. My other crackpot theory that dawned on me only recently, really, is maybe the scope is telling the truth after all, and that the waveform I'm seeing is actually what the weld manufacturers referred to as symmetric. Crazy? Perhaps. But just hear me out. Maybe they know something about welding. Maybe they set their machines this way because that's how they weld best. And any adjustments made to the waveform symmetry start from that baseline, from that already unsymmetric baseline. Yeah? Yeah? No? Maybe? I don't know. Personally, my money is it being on my scope or my clamp here. So I'm using a battery-powered scope. I guess technically that means I'm not grounded to the same ground as the welder. Maybe that's not important. I don't know. It feels safer to me not being plugged into the wall while I'm doing this. This is an O-1-6062. And then there is a current clamp. I'm putting this on the ground lead just because it's easier to get around the wire than it is to get around all the hoses in the water-cooled torch. It's a Hantec CC65 clamp on meter with BNC connector. Personally, I think it's this. Now, this might be a complete coincidence, but it looks to me like I'm maxing out at that maybe 65 amp range. Peak to peak, I think I'm seeing 65 on the scope. 40 in negative and 20 and some change in positive. Now I could try it. I could turn the amperage rating down on the machine, see if I get a symmetric waveform. But for some reason that just doesn't jive. Like why is it showing me the full amperage on the negative side but consistently clipping the positive side? And technically I don't even know if the peak to peak current makes sense the way I'm looking at it on the welder. Like in any given cycle, positive or negative, I'm not technically exceeding 40 amps. So this is 30 amps. If it was a current limit issue with the clamp, here I think I'm below its rating. I'm still seeing the asymmetric waveform. On my own, I just keep talking myself in circles. I mean, none of this is of any consequence to anything, of course, but I'm curious. If anyone has any insight, maybe sees what I'm doing wrong here, would absolutely love to hear it. Oh, as always, thanks in advance.